Hey guys, I'm Mark. I'm Alon. And welcome to another episode of The Next Man Up. Hey, Alon, good to see you again, man. Hey, Mark, what's going on, man? Doing good. Oh, it's good to be back together. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's like we never left. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's new with you? Oh, you know, it's kind of a busy season. Um, spring here in central Ohio has finally mm. sprung. It's We're looking out the window today. We got sort of cloudy, but uh, the weather's yeah, warm. We're yeah. in short sleeves, yeah. which is a nice change. A oh, dude. Dude, your question made me think. So I had the most fantastic time a, a couple weeks ago oh, yeah. with, with my oldest graduation from his rite of passage oh we, we had nice a, oh man it was so good we had good. a ceremony and i won't go into all the details now maybe we'll we'll get to that in a future episode but it was really good it, yeah, cool. i mean I, i've been thinking about this for a long time I had high expectations okay. and all of them were exceeded all of them that's it was awesome man. it could not that's have really gone cool. better so that's really cool yeah gives me hope for future for my boy <laughs> oh it's so it you know you, you've heard that phrase begin with the end in mind yeah yeah right this this is where that journey that we've been on in my mind was has has culminated and to be able to finally reach it 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 was really good That's for cool. me from this side, but also for the boy. It was, yeah. I guess, for the man now. Man, um, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta change that. That's huh? right. That's Still right. No, it was, that. it was, it was really good. <laughs> okay, man. So, how, how about you? What, what's new? How are things? Uh, things are cool. I am excited that it's not icicles or snowstorms <laughs> outside anymore as well. Um, excited, it's warm. I don't know. It just feels like weather messes with uh, us a lot. At least me and my my side i feel like like you know it's cold you're inside the house you're wrapped in a blanket and you just hear this dark music yeah <laughs> but yeah. as soon as the sun shines just like yeah oh my gosh i get to breathe like clean air oh no <laughs> you know <laughs> the seasonal depression thing oh yeah it's for real i believe i believe it is man i believe it is and i know there's like studies and whatever to to make it say that it is but like you know sometimes i think oh it's just me i'm just you know i just got mustered through it's like nah man i feel like really good when I'm outside in the sun. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I can run outside. You know, I can like walk, take walks outside. I'll even walk like an hour <laughs> to, to a place that I'm supposed to be at just because uh, it's nice outside and it feels great. Something I wouldn't normally do. So, yeah, man, it's, things are good, though. Um, busy season for me as well. Um, uh, you know, with summer coming up, got a lot of traveling going on and stuff and, uh, gonna, uh, really take off this summer, uh, going to places like Missouri, going to Costa Rica. Oh, good for, for you. For a week, uh, do some, uh, discipleship training out there. So yeah, man, it's going to be jam packed, but always make sure you got time for family and to decompress. Oh yeah. Very important. Yes. Keep the important things <laughs> yeah. or the first things first, right? Yeah, right. First things first yeah. or else the rest are going to fall away. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that sounds good, man. I know, uh, I know that circuit that you do is, is important to you. It's important to your heart yeah. and, and being able to share your story yeah. and, and interact with young people as, as they're in this transition phase. So um, I, I wish you all the best Thanks, in, in, in your summer tours. And I guess probably for our listeners, we should clarify that oh, yeah. we're, <laughs> we're recording this episode, you know, sort of in this transition, late spring, early summer. By the time it airs, yeah. uh, all, all these will be uh, will be passed. People <laughs> will uh, be like, oh, man, dude, it's snowing here. I don't know <laughs> part of the country you're in or part of the world you're in. <laughs> yes. No, we're just... Uh, just getting a, a few of these episodes recorded yeah. ahead of time before the busy season <laughs> hits, right? So, awesome, awesome. Anyway, well, you know, our our last episode, we really started to lean into this idea of what is initiation. Yes, you know, it's a, it's a it's an ancient idea, but it's a it's a new concept for us culturally mm. because we don't we don't really talk about it on a regular basis. No. And, you know, as, as you and I are working with dads and with sons, part of what we do is, is help them to figure out where they're going. You know, there's, um, there's a destination involved in, in what we do. Yeah. And the destination is important because it gives us some trajectory, some direction. And what I mean by destination, you know this, but what, what I mean by destination is really... How do we define 
manhood? Yeah. It's a question. big question. Huge question. It's a big question. And so I thought today we could just kind of tee that up, talk about our own experience a, a bit, talk about what, what's happening in the culture today, and, and really how we're helping fathers and sons to, to navigate toward this destination of, of what it really means to be a man. Yeah, man. That's, I, I love to dive into that. That's going to be really good. So what would you say, I'll start with a question, what would you say, based on our culture, what, what our culture says is uh, the things that really define manhood? Well, man, um, you know, I think, I think a really easy answer would kind of be <sighs> taken as a slander. You know, it's automatically, it's, well, you know, everyone is thinking... You know, that our culture paints this picture of this, like, you know, if you're a man, this this is what it looks like. And and uh, point it to be, like, kind of, like, as a negative thing. Um, I just recently uh, was sitting with a group of boys, and we were talking about this, uh, you know, and the question did come up, like, what is manhood? And, you know, and some of them, you know, like, right off the bat, you know, they were like, yeah, you know, a man stands up for what is right, and, like, you know, a man... Uh, a man is honest and, and whatever. And I'm thinking, wow, that is not the picture that I see like in our, our, our media today. I don't know. It's not the picture that I see that is portrayed, um, uh, within movies or, um, on social media and such. Like the, the picture that I see a lot is like a man is someone who takes advantage. A man is someone who succeeds by stepping over. A man is someone who has a lot of money, um, has cars, um, a man is someone who just uh, obtains a lot and is like almost like bigger than life. Yeah, you know, and uh, and and it all tends to be about what you can acquire. Yeah, what you can achieve. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like you know, and what mountaintop that you could stand on top of, you know, and look down on the rest of us. Mm. And like you know, I'm. You know, even though I got some answers from some boys, uh, you know, of the, yeah, man, it's honest, you know, we started digging in, okay, well then what are, what are some of your avenues that you get wisdom from and what, what wisdom are you getting about being a man? And as we started like peeling that, it started looking more and more about the picture that I just described. Interesting. You know, from the music to, and this is, hey, this is not a diss to anyone. Um, so I, I don't want to come off as like, you know, this you know, higher than most or all, you know, um, high, uh, holier than thou kind of person. I'm not That's not what I'm trying to aim at. But but this is the picture that our boys are getting though, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and sort of as we started peeling it back, it was like from the, from, from music to movies to uh, ways that fill our times, like, you know, searching through the internet and what we're getting through on, on, uh, on social media and from our friends and, 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 you know, our communities and our circles, most of the wisdom that our, our boys are, are, are receiving about being a man is this picture about this guy who stands on a mountain, looks down on everybody else. It's successful in the sense of that he has money. Um, he has, uh, he has cars. He has the, the, the kind of like shallow relationships with multiple different like women and, it's it's just not a good picture. It's not it's not something that I think that our uh, really presses what a real man is, because that man seems fake. Yeah, that man seems um, like someone who who uh, is is not the type of person I want to hang out with. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And 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 when and when I ask other people, most of the times it's the same answer. Like that that doesn't sound like a person that we want to hang out with. You know, that sounds like the villain of a comic book movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And, and yeah, it's cool. Like, you know, hey, look, I'm a DC fan. So let me, since I've broken it open. Um, yeah, I like the Joker in the sense of, wow, he pushes the limits in, in a, in, of how evil a person can be. And, and you know, there's a sense of like, you almost feel bad, but uh, you actually kind of like him. In a sense of like, you know, he's he's pulling on the the evilness that lurks within our hearts sometimes, you right, know? Right. Like if I was that evil, this would be it. But that's but when you really step back and you take a clear look at it, you go, that's really not the person I wanna be. 
That's not the person that I want to aim for. Yeah. That's a that's that's a fictional character, but that's the picture that we have for our boys, and it's not cool. You, know? you mentioned a couple of words early on that that really stuck out to me and and um, envelop the definition that I think is commonly portrayed, whether intentionally or unintentionally. I'm I'm not sure, but. It's this idea of accomplishment and accumulation. Yeah. You know, you, you put those together and you get that picture of, I've got all this stuff. I, I've done all these things. I'm on the mountaintop. I'm, I'm, you know, beating my chest. I'm better than you because I've done all of these things. And uh, I, I think that that's an easy stereotype yeah. to, to get and to see based on the messages that are, are coming at us from, from, you know, within our culture. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Uh, here's here's an interesting thought that I'm having as we're, as we're talking through this. So so picture these three things, and th- then give me your reaction. The uh, okay. So let's just pick a truck commercial. Doesn't doesn't matter what brand, but picture the driver of the truck in the commercial. Oh. A- a- as a man stereotype. Yeah. Um. How about names like? Matt Lauer, Harvey Weinstein, Charlie Rose as another picture of man stereotype yeah. uh, or consequences of bad behavior. And, and then picture the commercials that run on these sitcoms where the man is the bumbling idiot, yeah. you know, and, and he is he's less than he's not the intelligent one. He's not the decision maker. He's he's the the fool in, in, in the commercial, like what, what message is being sent? How, how can, I'm answering my own question here, sort of, but how, how can boys ever get a picture of what it means to be a man when you've got these three different stereotypes and many more that are being pushed to them on a regular basis? Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, and that's the thing. It's, it's, it's trying to pick out, it's trying to pick out the real voice or the real North Star <laughs> in the midst of like all these other voices that are out there, you know, um, and it becomes noise. Yeah. And when, when, when uh, you just have nothing but noise, like you don't, you don't end up getting a clear identity or clear sense of things. Right. And that's harmful. It's harmful. I know for me personally, I, I fought that a lot. Like, I, I wanted to be so many different types of, you know, picture of man, you know, um, at one point I remember I was like, I, I was all like, I'm a hip hop, um, fan. And so I listened to a lot of like hip hop music and, uh, a lot of, a lot of the music that was, that was out, like there was, it was stereotypical, you know, like if I was going to be a man that was like, you know, all hip hopped out and oh I let me step back. If I was being a man that was all wrapped out, like I I would, you know, I'd have the car, I'd have the girls, um, I would have like this attitude and this sense about myself um that I was larger than life and I wouldn't care about anyone or mm. anything. Um the only thing I cared about was like my agenda. You know, um, and I had a snarky remark for everything that came back, uh, like that came out uh, towards me. And so if someone even just said hello, you know, my response back would have had some negative sarcastic tone like to it. Um, And then, you know, there was another time where, I, you know, another picture, I wanted to be a lawyer. And so I watched these shows (laughs) that had lawyers in them. And most lawyers were just rude. (laughs) Yeah. Arrogant, obnoxious. Arrogant, obnoxious. And it was like, you know, so, you know, then it's like, okay, well, now I want to be an athlete. And, you know, an athlete just gives 100%, um, 110%. And when when 110% is not there, uh, they will, will, like, step and, like, you know, take, like, dope and um, uh, uh, steroids and whatever Mm. to get themselves to be strong. And it was like all these pictures um, actually, let me let me put it clear. All these voices of yeah. different yeah. like pictures of manhood were like speaking at me, and it confused me, yeah. man. Yeah, it confused me, and and like I'm just thinking like, okay, I'm not. I'm yeah. We're all we're all individuals. We have our own separate paths, but we're all human too. And when when 
many of us humans are having different voices speak to us all the time about who we are and, and where our life trajectory should be, uh, we end up getting lost in the noise and it's harmful. Last episode, we teed up this idea of initiation. You know, what is it and, and why does it matter? And it, and it dovetails what we're talking about today. The, the key word that you mentioned that stands out is confusion. I'm confused. You know, like when I look around our culture, uh, the, the different media and the, the different voices, the noise that you said, I'm confused yeah. on what it means to be a man, yeah. which just makes it all that more important that there are key figures in the lives of boys at these critical ages that can guide them toward yeah. this destination Absolutely. because they can end up anywhere based on what noise they're reacting to or, or the loudest noise, the ones that, that tugs at them the most. Yep. Um, and, and like you said earlier, it could be really, really harmful. Yeah, absolutely. How have you dealt with this idea in your own home? You know, as you're helping your boy to navigate through all this noise um, and, and all the different voices, what are the what are some of the things that you've done, um, tools that you've used, ideas, or I guess maybe even more open and generic? How, how have you helped your son to navigate through this? Um, I think I think for me and and my son, the first thing first first thing is. Uh, when I was talking about noise, let me throw another word in there, um, being constant. And so, like for me, I've always felt for my kids that like I want to be as constant as possible because and and be there um, more, be more present than others. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because uh, there's there's so many voices and so many other people being present in their lives as well that they can. Um, uh, get identity from, you know? And so for my boy, like, I'm just like, I, I'm going to try and be a const, a constant voice in your life. I'm not trying to be like screaming loud. I don't want, that's not the picture I want to paint here. The picture is, is that like, he's, since he was born, he's always had a dad in his life who's been speaking to him about being a man. Mm. And I try to stay, uh, persistent and um, I've tried to stay like uh, um, consistent with what I'm teaching him um, about being a man um, even to the point where like you know I've had to go to my boy and just like apologize mm. because I some action I did or some some something that I said was not what I was teaching him you know and ooh, that, that, that's hard <laughs> <laughs> hey dad Dad needs to come to you and talk to you right now because honestly, Dad doesn't really feel like he was a man for you. You know what I mean? Wow. Like the picture wasn't good and clear for you, and so I want to apologize for my actions and words. Look, you want to be a man? Apologize to your son. Those <laughs> moments can be so rich oh and so powerful, God, right? Even powerful. if it's even if it's tearing you apart to have to ad yeah. admit some mistake or apologize or whatever, or, or you know, just. I let my son down or I, I, you know, whatever. They can be so rich when you demonstrate, not just talk or yell like you were saying, but mm -hmm. to demonstrate yeah. what it really looks like to be a man. And, and, and you know, in those times, uh, I don't want to jump off topic, but in those times, like I've always felt like before I did, like I was coming, I was coming to him like naked, mm. <laughs> you know, and it's so vulnerable to do that, to open up your your heart and your life and to like be humble in that way to someone who's younger than you who's like you mean this is a picture right. of society is like right. no you you come humble to right. me you report to yeah, me yeah you report to me and it's like <laughs> nah man we we have a we we have a duty in this community uh, a family you know where i need to be a man i need to show my son that um it's okay like to fail it's okay to mess up it's what you do like after yeah. that really counts, man. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, are, are you willing to restore things, make things better? Are you willing to admit when you're wrong? Because all that is part of being this man That's right. that I'm trying to like uh, have you come into, you know? And so it, it's huge, man. Um, it's really big. So yeah, you know, it, it's so I'm trying to be constant. I'm trying to be persistent. Um, 
um, and be uh, be that voice that again is not the lot like like screaming, but I want to be louder than others by being present. Yeah, and, and such. And so that's that's the first thing. That's the first tool that I've been working with. Um, uh, the second is like I'm not aiming. You know, maybe maybe we maybe we we're gonna hit on this later, um, but I'm not aiming to deal with how my son looks mm. and what he achieves so much. I think, I think for me, and maybe you can attest to this too, Mark, I'm trying to, I'm trying to deal with the person inside. Yeah. I'm trying to grow up that little boy inside. And, and so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really pressing in on character. I'm really pressing in on, uh, uh, you know, working on that inner man and inner mind and inner heart first. Yeah. You know, because I think like it, when, when that grows up and becomes a man, I think that's when we can really say, you know, Hey son, like you are no longer a boy. You are a man in my heart. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like I see you clearly as that, you know what I'm saying? Introduce to the rest of the world as a man. And so, um, in doing that, man, like it's, it's been hard because, you know, <laughs> you want your boy to be athletic. You want your boy to be successful. Oh, sure. right. You want him yeah. to, you know, just do all the, you want him to be like, you know, Superman, <laughs> you know, and just really press out. But that's not who my son is called to be. Like my son is called to be everything that, you know, that God has created him to be. Right. And, and to step into the fullness of the being that God has made him to be. And to do that, like that heart needs to be laid over into a person um, who has good character. And the only way to do that, in my eyes, is to teach my son to follow Jesus. Uh, and in doing that, like, it opens up this door of where he begins to, like, see uh, where, where goodness comes from, um, where, where, where love comes from, um, and be able to walk those things out mm. really well. So. I, 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 I'm thinking about the phrase, put the cart before the horse, right? It feels to me like if you get the inside right, yeah. uh, maybe right's not the, not the yeah, best way to yeah, say yeah. it, but if you focus on the inner part, the being part yeah. a, as the horse before the cart, then the outer part, the, the doing just naturally comes, it comes you know, and, and there's a, there's a phrase that I like, maybe you've heard this before, but we're not human doings. We're human beings, beings yeah. you know, and, and what you're talking about squ- sits squarely in how, how I've worked with, with both of my boys and my daughter for that matter too. I'm sure with your daughters as, as well, it's mm. focus on the character qualities, what, what's on the inside, not so much what's on the outside. The outside, we put up a lot of masks and charades yeah. and we put yeah. up walls, yeah. we... We pretend to be things we aren't, um, but if if we can really mold and shape and and nurture and and help to even to draw out to to birth yeah. these the the inner man for our boys, um, I feel like that's kind of our role as dads. You know, we we reach inside as far as we can. We help to shape and, and mold and, and draw out what's already there and help it to just birth into manhood. And then, you know, then our, 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 our job changes a little bit. But in some respects, our job is done. You know, we yeah. have this window where we can, we can really influence our, our sons. And um, anyway, I'm sort of getting off, off course here too. But I, I, like, I like how you said just focus on the inner qualities. Yeah, yeah, I think. I think like, yeah, you know, I've said enough. <laughs> I agree. Like that inner, that inner person, man, if I, I wish I would have done that first yeah. for myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, it would have set, I think it would have set um, the road to be easier. <laughs> well, somebody. Well, maybe, maybe not easier, but I would have, I would have been um, more prepared, I think, as I entered into like adulthood yeah. uh, and such. And yeah. So. Somebody once said, some people got to learn the hard way. Oh, I learned the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, you know, for, for me, to answer my own question, um, without going into specifics or details, my approach has been very similar to yours. 
In fact, in, in my family, we often use the language of heart. You know, it's all about the heart. E- even drawing the, the spiritual, scriptural piece into it, God looks on the inside. Yeah. And, and that's where we're, we're tested and we're measured and, and we are, um, we're judged in, in, in many ways. Not that the outside doesn't matter, but if you get the inside right, then the outside exactly. com- comes with it. Yeah. Uh, and, and one of the things... Um, that I have found for me that was real helpful um, is to just simplify these qualities down into a handful of words or a phrase that, that as a family, we can just be centered around. Um, and, and we can talk about this in a, in a future episode probably, but um, just this idea of these are the qualities that we are shaping you to to have and, and to own, and, and we can't control it. We can we can do what we can yeah. do, and and say there's the goal. These are the qualities that when, once you reach manhood, womanhood, adulthood, once you leave the nest, these are the qualities that we want you to exhibit. Ultimately, they've got to own it and yep. run run with it. Yep. But while you're in my influence, under my roof. These are the things that I'm going to try to nurture and develop in you. And uh, so, again, we found it fairly, fairly helpful to just simplify it into just just three or four qualities yeah. th- that we're trying to work on. And, you know, there's so many words that could be used. Right. But um, that's that's a tool that's worked f- fairly that's well really for cool. us. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Like mine has not been simplified. <laughs> it's but it's but there's this. There's a picture. Yeah. I'm a visual person. Yeah. So, like the picture that I'm painting is really, I feel like it's the opposite of what culture is really pressing with, with boys, at least in the States. Um, you know, I, I don't want, I don't want my son to grow up to be a man who would lie to get his way. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I want him to be a man who's like, Who's willing to tell the truth, even if it means like he's gonna lose something? Yeah, you know, make like, those hard choices. Make the hard, do the hard things, right? Man. You know what I mean? Um, and and you know, just like any other, most dads that I've talked with, like they don't want their son growing up being this this kid who just lays around on the couch and just lets the world fly by and whatever. You know, I'm I'm the same. I I want to teach my son to like to work work hard. Um, but I'm not trying to teach him to kill himself either. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but but it all goes back to like that inner person. Like, what are we pressing? My, what like for me? What am I pressing my son um, and helping him like shape his mold, his heart into when it comes to his inner man? Like, and all the rest of that plays out. Like, my son will uh, like. Well, I feel like my son. Um, he. He normally leans into the hard thing when we have a conversation about, hmm. okay, in your heart, man, what you really, what are you really wanting? What seems to be the right like avenue for you? And normally, like he speaks up and you just be like, Dad, yep, this is it. And yeah. It's the hard one. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. and you go do it. And I always applaud him. I always like, you know, like clap my hands like for him. Um, when he does that, because he's taking another step of becoming yeah, a man. That's right. Like who does the hard things, and he knows why. That that's yeah, the phrase the that's coming into my mind right yeah. now. Is like the you know he understands the why part, the inner part, why it matters yeah. to do the things that mm-hmm. are important to do. You know, I I I, I think. Generally speaking, painting with a broad brush here, men, males, let me say it that way, males are more wired toward action, they're more wired toward doing, they're, they're more inclined that way, generally speaking, yeah. than, than females. And I don't want to, I don't want to discourage that or to undermine it with our conversation here, but I feel like that's downstream. If you can go upstream to the why, to the purpose, to the inner qualities, why some of these downstream actions really matter, why they're important, then I, I, I think that can make a big difference. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and, you know, I, and, uh, this, you know, I don't want to tune out any listeners who uh, may not be followers of Christ or anything like that, you know, um, but as 
even for me, as I've stepped into manhood and um, being a man and, you know, uh, when points of like when I first recognized that, yeah, dude, I'm a man, <laughs> like, you know, mm-hmm. like one of, the, one of the things that was really like uh, important to me was to be exactly who I was created to be, mm. to be all that I can be. I, I remember that old uh, army. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Army, be all you, you know, can be, be, right? Be all you can be. And yeah. it's like, you know, that's cool. And I to see how people latch on that. But for me, as I search, like, how can I be all I can be? Uh, and the more I dug into that, it was like, oh, man, you know what? On my own, I couldn't mm. figure it out, mm. you know? And, you know, for some people, it's community or whatever. For me, like, I've gotten that from Jesus and I've gotten that from other men who are willing to step up in my life and point me in the right direction, you know, um, and to counsel me and to, and to press me um, and even challenge me, like when I wasn't being a man, right? You know, right? And that's like helped shape me, like so, like at the core of my being, like I'm, like every morning it seems like when I get up, I'm like, man, I want to be all that I was created to be, and if I'm really, if that becomes my purpose, like then. Uh, when it comes to doing like some stuff that's hard or when the picture gets unclear about being a man, it's really easy to swing back into it. It's really easy to do the hard thing. Uh, like you said, when I can step in and go, well, the reason why I'm doing this thing that I really don't want to do is because I want to be all I'm supposed to be. Yeah. And that, and that's that for me, that's a man who's, who's doing the hard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. No, I, I, I like that a lot. If, if we just focus on the doing we miss a significant part of who we are created to be. Yeah. And, and if we take a more holistic definition of who we were created to be, we see the inside yeah. as as critical part of that. And, um, and to have that consistency around our boys, to be consistent for other boys with whom we have influence, yeah. um, that, that's the way that we can demonstrate what authentic manhood really looks like. Yeah, you know, you and I don't have it totally figured out. No. We'll be the first to admit it, but yeah. I think we're on the right path yeah. or at least on a good path and are uh, happy to and excited to really pass that on to our boys. Hmm. Well, dude, this has been a good conversation. We should yeah. probably uh, probably draw it to a close yeah. here. And yeah. um, thanks for hanging out with me today. Mark, always a pleasure. Thanks for being with us listeners. And uh, we will catch you next time. Hey, listeners, thanks for journeying with us on this Next Man Up podcast. You know, we would love to hear from you. Maybe you have a question or an idea, perhaps a topic for us to consider. If that's you and you want to reach out to us, you can get us at feedback at the nextmanup.com. That's feedback at the nextmanup.com. Again, we'd love to hear from you. Until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.